Hello and welcome to the world's fuck. Hello and welcome to the greatest game show on earth. Your favorite. What the fuck is wrong with my foot? Yay! Got a great show for you today because we don't know what the fuck is wrong with my foot yet again. Um, so yeah, this week it's just been this week's been another one of those weeks. Uh, I feel like my whole life and everything I'm trying to do fitness wise is attached to this really uh, maniacal fucking sadistic yo-yo that um, just doesn't fucking quit it's, it's like I get I get two two three days of you know a decent a decent workout um, and then something fucking happens it's like it's it's really starting to get to me now um, you know I had a great start for the first two three weeks of all this uh, dropped a lot of weight really fast and then it has seemed that ever since ever since then every single week there is some some sort of issue started off with um, sort of getting injured then it's, then then the the blood pressure thing um, and now it seems every single every single week now there is a problem with my foot and and I can't figure out what the hell the issue is this time. I know last time it was a I had to, some canned tomatoes, so obviously I've stayed away from doing that. Um, so I've don't know, don't know what it is this time. Um, it's getting really really frustrating. Um, so the issue that I'm having right now is on the inside of my right ankle right right on the I can't lift my foot up that high but basically if your foot is like this right so right here right here along this area is kind of like inflamed right in this side on my right foot this is my left hand but it's at my right foot because that's just how I it's just the way I went um, so it's I don't I don't know. It I say this is really frustrating. Um so I went um like I got like th 3 days I think in the gym last week after everything <clears throat> and the previous foot injury finally went away. I got 3 days in. Um I my my buddy JD he um he sent me a, a super set that he wanted me to try um, it's actually triplets um, and it's it's a tough one <laughs> it, uh, it it kicked the shit out of me um, it's a good workout and you know he's he's very he's cognizant of uh of my knee issues and stuff so he's he's trying to help me out um, with trying to get a, a plan that um, is more of like a, a f total body workout um, and isn't overly aggressive on my legs until, um, you know, until the weight comes off. Um, so it, it's, it's definitely a good workout with that and the interval, the, the interval biking. Um, so I got a couple of days of that last week. Um, and then... <sighs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just getting frustrated here. Um, so, like family day, I had, had the day off on fam the family day weekend. Um, uh, so I went back to the gym yesterday morning, and my foot like my foot had been acting up over the weekend. Um, I was having trouble walking for a few days. So then finally yesterday, I was like, well, you know, I can I can move enough that at least I can do the majority of the workout that he sent me. Um, I just, I really can't do 
anything that involves a lot of uh, flexion of, of my ankles. Um, so I I did that. I I wasn't able to do my squats or my stairs. Um, I got one other. I can't think of right at the moment. Um, oh, sorry, the deadlift. Um, so I, I had to stay away from those because I you know I don't really have the the, the strength and the power in uh in my ankle to do that um so i did that workout and then i i did my biking for a while um and then fuck like by by the end of last night um i couldn't move um and of course with my medication i can't take i can't take advil um so best i can do is take tylenol and try to icing my foot foil but nothing was really nothing was really giving me any relief um and then even today, um, I woke up super late just because of the, the pain I'm in in the medicine. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I it's... Uh... It's the worst part is that all I can say is I don't know. I don't know what is, what's my problem, um... I don't know what to do to correct it. I mean, it's 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 frustrating because you know I'm trying to trying to take better care of my health. Uh, I've made a lot of a lot of changes to the way that I was even just a few months ago, um, and it just seems that no matter what I do, it's it's not good enough. It's something keeps fucking up um <laughs> it's pissing me off you know i do i have seen some progress um obviously the initial progress um i do see some changes um even when i like when i'm at the gym uh even wearing different clothes haven't been able to put the shirt on in months um a pair of jeans my wife bought me a couple years ago i've never worn started wearing them over the weekend um so there is like some some progress but i'm having so many fucking roadblocks right now with all the, these stupid niggling little injuries um that i'm not seeing i'm not seeing the progress that i expect to be seeing and i don't know what to do about it Um, I don't know. I really don't know. So this vlog sucks. <laughs> it's, uh... This is just, this has been a really, this, this issue with my foot has gone on for so many years, um, that it depresses me every, like, I get to the point now when it, when it flares up that it fucking, it's, it's puts me in severe, severe depression because it's just a stupid chronic dumb little thing. It's, and it's like, it's, it's. The smallest, it's the smallest thing. It's a bit of inflammation around my ankle. And it's so fucking irritating that something so tiny, something so insignificant, is capable of, of just shutting me down. Because it's in one of the worst fucking spots it could be. If it was, if it was a bit of inflammation in my elbow or a bit of inflammation in my shoulder or somewhere in my, anywhere else, I could manage to get around with it and kind of get on with what I need to do. But because it's in my fucking ankle, that limits, it limits me so much. I have a hard time even fucking walking. I mean, last night I had, I, I had to stay on the couch for about seven hours. I came, I finally was able to kind of limp to the bed at like 4.30 in the morning. 
and then even today i've been doing a bit of stuff since i've been up and it you know it still hurts like a bastard like it, it fucking it, like right now i should probably have my foot up and i should probably be icing it or something um but i know that i, I need to get this done because i haven't been getting these made as as often as i want to um but it's just it's fucking i don't know i, I don't know to like I, I, jo- I joke about it sometimes about wanting to get my get my feet removed and but some days it's it's like what you know what would be the downside what would be the downside at this point i have my fucking feet amputated because a lot of times i feel like i'm a fucking i mean i should be in a wheelchair anyways all right I, i'm basically restricted to a wheelchair um it's, it's And what what some people don't understand too is like with this with this little injury it limits a lot of things that I can do. Um, and of course everyone's a doctor. Everyone is oh you should do this you should do this you should do this you should do this you should do this. Okay, I get it. I appreciate. I appreciate people trying to help i really i do i i i appreciate the gesture um but the thing is is like after you've seen so many doctors and been told so many different opinions of what somebody thinks something is and what you should do to fix it and it's gonna cost money because you have to buy this fucking orthopedic thing or you gotta take this medication or whatever that is and every single time you see different people over over a fucking over a decade, I'm I'm looking at almost twelve years now of dealing with this shit. Um, when you get the armchair doctor that uh, oh he should you know I, my my cousin Joe had the same thing and needed this, you know what I've probably heard it, probably heard it from a lot of people at this point, and it, it's just I I get. I, I get it. I get that you're trying to be helpful. But, I mean, I can only be told that this thing worked so many times. And I've probably tried it at this point. After 12 fucking years of it. Um, that it, it just... It's it's irritating to hear. I don't know if anyone's going to understand that, but... I don't know. Just frustrated with this whole stupid thing. The issues with my feet have... have cost me a number of things over the years. Not just, like, health-wise and with trying to work out, but, like, career-wise, too. It's cost me a number of things. And it's, it's just frustrating every single time that Every single time that it just flares up, it's just, it's a, it's another, it's another reminder of. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Hopefully, um, hopefully tomorrow will be better. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this will clear up tonight or tomorrow and I'll be in a better place to finish out the week. Um, yeah, (laughs) I just, no, I'm, I'm, I'm stagnating, um, it's driving me nuts. You know, at this at this point now, I'm at the end of February. I was hoping, realistically, I was hoping to be down about, well, I'd say like 340 at this point. Is realistically what I hope I, I would be at. Um, yeah, I got to redo my macros because I don't know if, if the keto is not working the way it's supposed to. Um, 
I don't know. I gotta redo that. I know my my weight's dropped a bit, so I gotta probably should redo my macros. But it's like I feel like no matter like I'm not getting any I'm not getting any results anywhere whatsoever right now. I'm still sitting at at three fifty. Not going up. Not going down. And sure, clothes are fitting better and stuff, but I mean, we're talking about, these are, these are superficial things at this point, because sure, if clothes start to fit better, that's great, but at the weight that I'm at, at 350, if the, if the scale's not going down, that's, there's really not much progress. Cool, maybe, like, there's a trade-off between a little bit of, a little bit of fat loss and a little bit of muscle gain, but at, at this weight. I mean, I'm not, I'm not losing at 350 pounds. I'm not losing a pound of fat and putting on a pound of muscle. That's just not happening. Not at this rate. So I'm not losing any fat. Not, I'm not, that's, that's basically what it is. I'm not losing fat and that's what I'm supposed to be losing. And that's not happening. And that's, what's even more frustrating with all of this shit is just that like, I only seem to get results when I'm working out for some reason because it doesn't seem like the diet is really is really helping me. Um, I mean, the initial shock to the system with like re- reducing carbohydrates, all that shit, was really great at first, but I'm, I'm not seeing any right now. And maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I need to read a bit more. Um, but it's like I say, I'm, I'm two months in now. And I'm down, what, 19 pounds in two months? And I basically haven't haven't really changed in about two or three weeks. So I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, that's it for today.